Welcome back to Joel in the Hole. Here I am in the hole. Please subscribe. Let's start the video. Welcome back to Joel Stills from the Sims community, except in Minecraft. Now my friend Sasha, aka Vixella, does these videos such as The Sims 4, but every room is a different personality, etc. And one of the ones she did was The Sims 4, but every room is a different color. Now I thought, we could do this in Minecraft. We have lots of colors in Minecraft. Now, technically we have 16 colors in Minecraft, but a lot of them are quite similar. So instead, we're gonna just do these colors here. And don't worry, a nine bedroom house is still gonna be a bit ridiculous in size. And normally when people build a house, they'll build a house and then build the rooms afterwards. We're gonna go a bit different. We're gonna build the rooms and then build the house. Why Joel, you're asking? Because I like a challenge, okay? This is gonna be really hard. Why have I done this? I think we might just build the rooms, like connecting obviously, and then build a house around it, if that makes sense. We'll, 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 we'll give it a go. Now I've come up with a list of the order we are going to build our rooms. And these rooms are the hallway, a kitchen, a lounge, a dining room, a conservatory, then three bedrooms, and then finally a bathroom. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a virtual spinning wheel, as you can see here. And we're gonna spin it each time to figure out what color we're gonna use for each. Let's start with the hallway. I'm sorry that the colors don't add up past green. But our first color for the hallway is green. Okay, I'm kind of sad we got this color first as it's my favorite. Well, let's cut to our first time lapse where we're gonna build this hallway. Now I said green was my favorite because I just like the green blocks. I really love how green concrete powder looks plus dark prismarine. As you can see, I changed the floor here because I'm not sure I warped planks green. They're kind of like cyan, but we haven't got a cyan. So I kind of use them a little bit as they're kind of green, but they're also kind of blue. Anyway, let me show you this hallway. So it is very weird building a hallway and not having a house. So it looks very strange from the outside still, but on the inside, this is how it's looking. We added in some leaves falling down from the ceiling because, you know, green, it looks very nice and overgrown. We got a little plant here as well. Cacti, zombie head, some kelp, just some green blocks, some paintings around which aren't really green, but you know what? We can't all have it green. And then we've also got this staircase here, which has got some trap doors. We have a chest under here. And there's also a little lantern there. And then as you can see, we've got a little plant at the back as well. And you can see there's multiple doors off. We've got four because we've got four more rooms downstairs. I think we're probably gonna have the kitchen over here, dining room over here, maybe the lounge over here. And at the back, we'll have a nice conservatory. Happy with how this is looking so far. Let's see what we get for our next room, which is the kitchen. I've taken green out. So for the kitchen, we get black. Okay. You know what? We might actually be able to work with this. I'm quite happy with this color. I'm so glad I'm doing this in 1.16 because the black blocks that were added in this really, really help. In fact, I'm glad I'm doing the whole thing in 1.16 because there's so many more blocks now. Imagine if I did it in 1.12.2, I'd be screwed. But here you can see a very standard kitchen layout. We kind of got like a central unit there. I was kind of struggling with things to add because we are limited to the color black though. Hmm. And from the outside, this thing is looking weird. It's gonna look quite cool actually when it's all rainbow. However, if we head through the double door here, we get to the kitchen. This at the moment has a just empty back. That's because we're going to build like a chimney going up. So I thought I'd just build it empty for now. We can sort of work on the chimney afterwards. But we got like some basic stuff here. We use furnace, blast furnace, etc. We got a black shulker box which just knocks off that. So maybe we could put that there instead. Because I'm gonna be double layering the walls, I'm gonna have another layer of wall here. I've been using these as like windowsills. So we've got some like flowers and stuff and like a wither skull head. Did I just delete an anvil? Oopsie. We've got a little bit of green in here, okay? But it, it's dark green, it's the closest to black green I could get. And obviously there's no ceiling in both these bits I've realized, I forgot to say. That's because we're gonna be adding that in afterwards. I'm not sure what we're gonna do for that yet. And then finally over here, we've got a little chest room. Plenty of space, a very nice kitchen. Our next room is the lounge, which we're gonna be building over here. But what color is it going to be, eh? It's going to be blue. Okay, okay. That's fine. Now I was kind of hoping for blue for the bathroom, but do you know what? This actually ended up turning out pretty cool. It's probably my favorite room we built so far. We used a lot of the new warped blocks. We used some lapis, we used water. There's actually quite a lot of blue blocks. So this turned out looking pretty good. And obviously we can use the warped blocks for the sofas and stuff. So if we got like another color like pink, it wouldn't have worked. A little update on the outside. Now it kind of looks terrible, but we added the blue doors on here. And yeah, I think this layout is looking really nice. Really 
really blue. We got a beacon. We got some lanterns. I didn't realize how similar beacons look to the new soul lanterns. Hmm. We've got our flex diamond block. We got like a kind of like I, I wanted it to be like a TV here. You sit on the sofa, you chill and watch TV. This nice sort of like lantern thing in the middle as well. I really like. I might actually move that lantern from there because we don't really need it. And we got just like a painting, like a little table here as well. I'm happy with it. And most importantly, the fish underwater with some coral. And if you look. They are all named Jeremy. Oh, lovely. So we got two more rooms on the downstairs and the next one is the dining room. Six colors left and it's going to be white. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Now that I've built it, I'm not too happy with white. It is very white. Maybe this would have been good for a bathroom also, uh, but oh well. We've got a dining table here and we use some birch because that's the whitest wood I could get. And we've got these cool end ones. Oh, look, they look quite cool time lapse sped up, don't they? I always run out of time to speak on those time lapses, but here it is. We've got a doorway over here, but we've left it sort of open from the kitchen. So we head in. We got a nice little dining room. We got some stuff you can get past this side uh, we got iron armor we got this weird lighting thing on the roof some chairs to sit down to eat with our plates and our cups which i've got dirty at the moment that's basically all we could really fit in here there's not many white decoration objects apart from like end rods and white flowers and stuff so it was a bit tricky but we, 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 we tried we tried and now we actually get to move on to the final room downstairs which is the conservatory and i might do a bit of alteration here because i think the conservatory could come out to like here we'll see how it goes so we might remove this and add a door in instead which would work perfectly fine but first we need a color give us a color oh magical wheel bada bing and bada boom purple oh no that's not the color i wanted it's weird i wanted a different color for this but then i started building and i was like hmm this is actually quite good. I used a lot of purple blocks and purple glass. There's going to be like an exterior to this as well, which is going to look really nice. It's going to be like a sort of outhouse. And I kind of made it into like a greenhouse as well. And I've realized it's purple. I've used a load of red. What am I doing? I've done this wrong. I need to change all this quickly. Okay, here we go. This is a bit more like it. I don't, my brain just farted and I made everything red. But here it is. We've got never brick now. We added in a load of flowers, some picture frames with some coral in. We've got like a little bit from the end here with you know this chorus plant i wish these could be more customizable but look it's just they're so annoying to place and from the top down this thing looks quite funky look at that that is funky and that is actually the last one on the bottom floor we're going to move up onto the next floor now with our last four rooms and our color is little 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 it is orange but I started off by adding on the top like ceiling bits on the rest of these. Just went for oak on all of them because I thought it looked quite nice. A little simple design. And we're also going to keep the hallway upstairs green as well because it's kind of one room. It has the staircase, but obviously the bedroom is orange. I probably should have made this two bedrooms as we need to get four in here somehow. And this one is quite big. So we had too much space and it kind of looks a bit empty still. Also, the house is looking pretty ridiculous with no walls right now, but... This is how it works. You come up the stairs and straight on the left here, it actually goes up a level because I wanted to have the orange floor in here. We've got this really cool floor design, which I really like. We got a bed, we got a painting, we got some pumpkin trees and shroom trees. We've got a little sort of like bit here, which I quite like, kind of like stole that idea from Shubble when she did the house up for me. We've got a wardrobe here, with some armor, some chests and some more chests up here. We got this. This, this is when I was really out of ideas and we got a little bench as well to sit on. Very nice, very quaint. All we need to do is add a door. Lovely jubbly. So we've got two more bedrooms and a bathroom, which we've got to fit in this space here. So I think I might combine one of the rooms and make it a double color room. And that'll be our two bedrooms. And then we'll have this area around here for the bathroom. But what color are those two bedrooms gonna be? Please be red and yellow, please be red and yellow. The first one is red, nice. And now we have a 50-50 chance. Please be yellow, please be yellow, please be yellow, please be yellow, yeah, boy. Which means we have a pink bathroom. So I decided to just build both of them all at once. I say both, there's actually three things here technically. The last three colors, we've got the red and the yellow room here. I used some mushroom blocks, which I think just look really nice like a wallpaper. And on the yellow side, we use some yellow concrete and we use some endstone and sandstone because you know what? We just needed to use some other blocks. We've been using too many of the same blocks recently. And then for the bathroom, of course, 
we had to make it pink. We made this sort of like weird two tile block floor thing. We added in a bath, which has like a little shower bit and also a mirror, which I actually went and made a custom map for. You'll see in a second. And then we also finished the corridor, but it was really easy. And here we are, the house, windowless, wallless, and just a mash of colors. It actually kind of looks quite cool, but at the same time looks quite hideous. So not the best, but this corridor is looking a lot nicer now. We got the pink bathroom as well. These are the mirrors I was talking about. It may look like gray blocks. Oh no, these are maps. I just went over in that direction somewhere. I just placed a load of gray wool down. We got the bath, we got the toilet, everything you'd ever need. This is meant to be toilet roll, but it doesn't really look like it. And I don't know why in the bedroom over here, I decided to go for bunk beds. We've got one bunk bed here, which has kind of got like a little desk area underneath, some gold armor. We split them off with this bit of wood here for a bit of privacy. And then over here, we got the other bunk bed, which is actually a bunk bed. Some vines. We got the red grass over here because I was just wanting stuff to put in here. And yeah, not terrible, not terrible. But now it's time to make the outside of this house. I hope I can actually make this look good. I have a slight idea what I want to do. It's kind of a cool layout. Let's give it a go, shall we? So two hours later and here we are. We managed to finish this thing off. I decided to go for like a brick bottom layer and then this sort of mix of like spruce and like stripped dark oak logs here for the top layer. Adding a tower in the middle by the entrance actually had to change quite a few of the doors as it was looking kind of like uneven. So now the door at the front is just a single door. However, we did keep a double door at the back at our greenhouse there, which is looking pretty good. And we made the tower a bit tall as well, adding on this little section, which I think looks quite Quite nice. Then I added in some details and stuff, tried to make it just look a bit more full. And then we actually decided to completely move the house, which destroyed all the item frames and doors because the world edit version I'm using is not the best. And then we just sort of added it on this cliffside here, which I thought looked quite nice. Did some like little terraining with some waterfall, added in some custom spruce trees around and it's looking nice. And I really think it makes a huge difference when you add in all this stuff with the flowers, etc. We got this pathway up as well which will lead you all the way to the front entrance around the back we've got these mountains here looking quite nice and then another pathway going down oops missed some gravel the spruce tree is all the same i try to like sort of alternate it a bit with some taller ones etc but they just look quite similar i i just don't have the time to make loads of different individual spruce trees but yeah i'm really happy with the house design i think it looks awesome seeing as we built it the wrong way round i'm quite impressed with myself and also there would actually be Another floor up here. We have loads of space in the roof, as you can see. So I would have added an attic in, but I, I ran out of colors. I think it's looking awesome though. All the different rooms being different colors actually makes it look really cool when you walk through each room being completely different and unique and just really vibrant. I did in just some oak ceiling on the roof, etc. Pink bathroom. Some paintings are missing up here, as you can see, just because of the world edit and the armor stands as well, which is a shame. Probably should have fixed that but you saw it earlier and it looked fine but there you go a house where every room is a different color i love it i think it looks really cool thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and comment if you did and also subscribe if you're new and i shall see you another time goodbye